What's the crack, lads? We are back with Iniesta's Deep Dive Ultimate Player Review. We're going to be showing you the best stats, the best skills, the best build. And I think he's probably one of the most fun players to use right now. We're going to show you a couple of hidden tips to get the best out of him, as well as a lot of gameplay on why he ticks so well on the pitch. Let's go. Lads, the one word I have for Iniesta is dangerous. When you get into positions like this, he is absolutely lethal. If you are a good dribbler, if you do a lot of stop and pop, if you do a lot of accelerate past the tackle, if you do a lot of drawing the defender in, I think he's probably my favorite to use at the moment for that. Kaka is extremely direct in his runs and his amazing runs with the AI. Iniesta is more silky on the ball style, possession style. That's how you'll get the best out of him. Ridiculous balance as well. We did actually spin him here. We got him in 70 spins. If you've missed my pack opening, you can go back and check that out. We got him fairly handily enough with Kaka coming after him. But I think he was our second spin that we got Iniesta. But just look how he peels away here, man, in slow-mo. Draw the defender into the last second. Of course, you're going to get caught, but it's about moving the ball through the lines without getting caught in possession. That's what it's all about. Now, Andres Iniesta definitely needs tight possession and balance above the 90s. And we've maxed them out with this build. 99 balance and 100 tight possession. It's an insane card. Is there cards that, are, that do compare to Iniesta? Yeah. And we'll show you a couple of comparisons at the end of the video. I'm not going to overcomplicate it, lads. These cards have no real weakness. This is the big thing with getting the epic cards or the booster cards. The only thing that I would say here that he's lacking is the finish and not being 85 plus. It's not going to hit that threshold. But that is the build that you see there, 5, 2, 7, 13, 12, and nothing into defending or anything like that. I would have liked uh, Iniesta to be slightly more um, with the passing from the rip, but I do feel like that they've balanced the card very nicely. He's not... I won't say that he has no weaknesses in terms of like, there is there is players that do compare again against him, but that kind of like lofted pass at 85 and the finish and not getting to 84, we could have drawn that back down a little bit with the dexterity. But the skills, this is what I'm talking about with Iniesta a lot of the time, right? If you take a look at his skills here, usually with these runners and direct runners, you need to be able to beat players for pace, power, and for speed and raw pace. Whereas with Iniesta, it's more about kind of letting the AI make the runs for you and you being able to pick the pockets of space to give the ball to him. And also, one key tip with Iniesta, boys, and we talked about this on the live stream, you do not need to give ball roll to Iniesta. He has one of the fastest double touch animations in the game. As you see here, this is in real time. Look how quick it is. Look how slick it is. And he can actually dominate. And sometimes it's nice just to be able to take defenders on like this, where you show him your back, and then boom, you give him a little slide, you roll off him. That's becoming a little bit easier to do since the last patch a couple of two days ago or two weeks ago. Even though there wasn't official patch notes, they have adapted and adjusted the, the dribbling a little bit like that. Now, Iniesta versus Pedri. This is one of the best versions of Pedri that they ever released. Uh, there is other versions of Pedri, but we just chose this one because I really like playing with this card. You can see the similarities, but you can see, obviously, the Iniesta. It's not all about stats, lads. Honestly, it's not all about stats. You should never really be buying these booster cards just because they have, you know, a stat that's like 95 compared to a stat that's like 90. Once you get to certain thresholds, I have a full video up on that, and I'm working on another one um, very soon per position to train every card perfectly balanced. You get the thresholds, you will be able to dominate by building your, your squad quite nice. Now, we also look for a couple of whole players to test out as well. I did settle on comparing him against Cruyff. Any other version of Iniesta is going to do the job for you. It's going to have the same player ID. It's going to have the same motion. It's going to have the same AI, the player AI, all of that stuff. Cruyff is definitely one that doesn't have the passing of Iniesta. But I feel like Iniesta, because of his height, because of his player ID... I'm going to go with a 9 out of 10 for this guy as well. If you missed my Kaka review, um, you can check that out as well. But listen, lads, video games are meant to be fun, man. Video games are meant to be fun. And these players just make you have a, bit, a little bit more fun if you are looking to play possession. If you're looking to play a run and gun, I would say that there are better options out there than Iniesta. So that's why I'm a little bit biased on this. Kaka versus Iniesta. Kaka is a very direct power runner that he runs in direct lines. He still has a bit of flair about him, but Iniesta is all about those snaky kind of runs, keeping your back to the opponent, keeping your back to the defender that's coming out to Russia, and a little pop and stop every now and again. So it's a 9 out of 10 for Iniesta. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back in a little bit. Peace.